A Hudsonville family says a trip to Wendy's changed their daughter's life forever, hospitalizing her for a month and leaving her with lifelong injuries. The Jenison restaurant had already been cited with multiple safety violations, and the family says they had no idea. News 8's Byron Tollefson with more now on the steps the family is taking. Byron. The family is now suing the owner of the Wendy's franchise for $20 million. They say a single fast food meal nearly killed her. Aspen Lamfer's parents say she was perfectly healthy, excelled at several sports, and thrived in the classroom before a trip to a Jenison Wendy's in August of 2022 when she was 11 years old changed everything. She became so sick and was almost on her deathbed. It was so bad. Um, frankly, it's it, almost a miracle that she survived. After her team's softball practice, she went to the restaurant in order to hamburger, chicken nuggets, and french fries. A few days later, she had abdominal cramps, diarrhea, and blood in her stool. She was hospitalized with an E. coli infection, which later turned into HUS, hemolytic uremic syndrome, attacking her kidneys. While at DeVos Children's Hospital, things only got worse. The infection continued to progress and attack her pancreas and her brain. She had significant brain swelling, um, suffering seizures, while in the hospital. Uh, she had left-sided paralysis. She was on constant dialysis. Her family says she was unconscious at times and hallucinated. She was hospitalized at DeVos for three weeks before rehabbing at Mary Freebed for a week and then finally going home. Her family is, you know, so thankful that they have her uh, that she, she didn't pass from this because it was so close. The family's attorney, Tom Worsfold, says Aspen is still struggling today with high blood pressure, weakness on the left side of her body, diabetes, and brain damage, which has affected her ability to learn. The spring before she got sick, uh, she placed as a fifth grader in the sixth grade level of reading. Uh, at one year later, after she got sick, as a sixth grader, she was now reading at a fourth grade level. Aspen didn't know that when she went to the Wendy's on August 1st, the restaurant had shut down just days prior after Ottawa County food inspectors found what they called gross insanitary conditions throughout the building. It was really uh, disgusting, to be quite frank. Health inspection records show that investigators had found moldy and spoiled food, including day-old chili, undated produce, food slicer and cutting boards left out dirty, food left on the ground overnight, mold and mildew throughout the restaurant, and water pooled everywhere. Investigators wrote, quote, imminent health hazards demand immediate corrections, such as closure and fixing health hazards observed. Immediate health risks may get the staff and public sick. You know, how long and how many people ate at this restaurant where they've got moldy food and uh, pest harborage conditions and, um, you know, day-old chili that's being served, uh, we don't know. After the restaurant closed for a few days to retrain staff on food safety practices and fix the water leaks, they reopened by August 1st, the day that Aspen ate at the restaurant. But just a few days later, investigators found more violations, including potentially hazardous food not stored properly, standing water with dead pests around chili, and kitchen floors soiled with black mold like debris. This all happened during an E. coli outbreak that sickened 43 people statewide. Health officials said most of them had recently eaten lettuce at Wendy's. Worsfold says Aspen didn't eat any lettuce, but he believes she got sick through cross-contamination. It's really the only explanation that caused her to contract this infection. Meritage Hospitality Group, the restaurant company which owns many Wendy's locations, including the Jenison one, has not yet responded to News 8's request for comment. Earlier this month, several other West Michigan residents sued Meritage, saying they were sickened by contaminated lettuce at Wendy's restaurants during the E. coli outbreak in 2022. Health inspections show the restaurant has improved conditions since this all happened.